Hey guys, it's Katherine, and today I'm going to show you how to install a custom font on your iPad. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need two different apps. You're going to need an app called iZip, and you're going to need an app called AnyFont. Now, iZip, there's a free version and there's a pro version. I have the pro version, but you can do this on the free version as well. Unless your font is a huge file size, then you would need the pro version. Um, but more times than not, you can definitely do it in the free version. And then the app AnyFont, it's a one-time payment of, I believe it's $1.99. Um, it might be $2.99, but I'm pretty sure it's $1.99. It's been a while since I purchased it. And you just pay it once and you can use it as many times as you want to for as many fonts as you want to. So it's a really good deal. So for this tutorial, I'm already on the website Creative Market. This is one of my favorite websites for finding fonts and clip art for my digital planner. Um, so I will link to this site in the video description and I'll also link to a few other sites that I frequently go to to find really cute fonts and graphics. So for this tutorial, I'm also going to use a font that I have already purchased. Um, I have it on my computer. I just don't have it on my iPad. But if you don't already have a font purchased and you want to just browse this website to find a font that you like, you can just go to their menu and go to fonts and you can sort by popular, recent, or hand-picked. Or you can sort by font style. So if you only want to see script fonts, you could select script fonts. And then it'll only show you script fonts. So um, I'm going to use this Silver South font. This is a really cute font. So I'm going to select it. And since I've already purchased it, I have the option to just download now. So if you haven't purchased the font, uh, there will be a rectangle over here. And you'll have the option to purchase it from right here. I'm using your credit card or you can use PayPal. But since I've already purchased it, it just says download now. So I'm gonna click on download now. And now I'm gonna select open in iZip Pro. So now this screen pops up and it asks me if I wanna extract all files. So I'm gonna select okay. And here is my font folder. So this font comes with a few different font styles. So I'm gonna install all four of these and I'm gonna to have to do it one at a time. So in order to install it into any font, I'm going to just select one font at a time. I'm going to start at the bottom and then I'm going to select open in and now I'm going to select copy to any font. And then when I scroll, there it is. So I'm going to keep doing that until I have all four of those fonts. Okay, so now that they're all in any font, the way that I'm going to install them onto my iPad, I'm going to select the font and it says tap icon to install. So I'm just gonna tap on that icon and I'm gonna select allow. And then this will pop up and now I'm just gonna select install. And I have to enter my passcode and then this pops up. The configuration profile installs the font Silver South Script Alternate. So I'm gonna select next and I'm gonna select install. And then I'm gonna select install. And now I can select done and now it has brought me back to any font. So I'm gonna do that for everything except for, I'm not gonna install the ligature font right now, but I'm gonna do it for the other two fonts that come with that folder as well. Okay, so now they're all installed onto my iPad. So now I can use these fonts in an app such as Graphic or Vectinator, I believe supports fonts as well. I have actually never used Vectinator, but I know it's a really popular app and I do believe that you can use fonts in it. So um, I'll just show you how you can access them really quick on the graphic app. Now the graphic app for the iPad is $8.99 or $9.99. I'm sorry I'm not good with prices today but I know it's less than $10 and it's just a really cool way that you can you can actually build planner layouts in it as well. Um, so I'm going to film a tutorial on that later but for now I'm just going to show you how you can use a font. So I'm going to select this plus icon right there and I'm going to select a blank background. So in order to use this font, I'm, I'm going to go to my text tool over here and it says double tap to edit. So I can double tap there and right here is where I can select my font. So uh, where it says Helvetica because that's the automatic font. So I'm going to click there and now I'm going to find that Silver South font. So you'll see it's right here. I've got Silver South script, Silver South script alternate. So I'm gonna use the alternate and I'm just gonna type the word hello and there it is. And uh, now if I wanted to increase the size, I can do that 
right here. I need to highlight it first, sorry. So there, that's how you can adjust the size. It goes up to 142. Um, you can change the color here. And if you know the hex code, you can enter that. You can adjust the spacing vertical wise. You can adjust the spacing horizontal wise if you're typing a few words. So uh, there's a lot that you can do here. So anyway, that is it. And now if you wanted to use this as a digital planning sticker, you would just go to this gear icon and I'm going to turn off the background by selecting background right here. And then I'm going to turn the opacity all the way down so it has no background. And then I can um, go back to my canvas and select the text. And then I can go right here to this paper clip and select copy. And now I can go to Good Notes and just go to whatever planner page I want to put it on and then hold down and select paste. And so now it's brought it in as a sticker. It still has that huge text box around it. So I can just click on it, click on crop, and I'm just gonna do a little freehand crop. And now I've got my text. So that is it. That's how you would do it. Um, you could also bring this in to Procreate as an image as well if you're like me and you decorate your planner in Procreate. So feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Um, I'm going to be doing some more tutorials over the next few days. I'm going to show you how you can create a planner layout and graphic. Um, I'm also going to show you how you can install custom fonts on an app called Over. Um, and I'm going to show you how you can create a planner layout in Procreate. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to be alerted when those tutorials are uploaded. And feel free to leave a comment, uh, give a thumbs up if you like this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. And make sure you check out my website, naptimealt.com, where there's tons of planner-related freebies that you can download now.